very good afternoon to my dear friends so now we are going to today deal with breast case so you all know that uh, breast be it a benign lump or a malignant lump or a inflammatory lump this uh, breast case is mostly kept as a long case in all the university uh, viva or all the university clinics be it in tamil nadu or be it in any other state so that is why breast case is very important and before starting with this case discussion i would like to tell you that we have already uploaded case discussion by dr sujit kumar sir on hernia hydrocele we have a case of uh, yeah, your appendix we have case of right iliac fossa mass that is your appendix and we also have case on hydrocele and many topics have been covered and two important topic which are not covered as far as a long case is concerned is the breast as well as your uh, thyroid so most probably this is going to be just supplementary most probably a case discussion video will be uploaded by this weekend uh, from dr sujit sir so anyway this topic i am going to take it in a very brief manner it's going to help you to pass your exam very well it is going to make sure that the flow of history taking and examination is going to be perfect for you while presenting a case i am not going to cover the breast cancer or any theory topics completely i am just going to go with the flow of your history and examination alone okay so let me start with first one a breast lump is a very common problem okay so you are going to start with this case by asking the age of the patient why i'll tell you young feeding mothers most common cause is going to be a breast abscess in a young woman less than 35 years you can consider fibroadenoma middle age fibroadenosis and in a peri and post menopausal age group most commonly ca breast will be there now i told you there is a inflammatory carcinoma there is a inflammatory lump what it is remember even in a young woman there is a chance of inflammatory carcinoma of breast what is this this is a aggressive cancer we stage it under stage 4d why because this is going to have a diffuse erythema this is going to have edema this is going to have pudy orange but without underlying palpable mass this is going to involve your skin most of the skin over the breast it is going to be involved and therefore your tumor why because your tumor emboli is going to be within your dermal lymphatics and therefore most of the skin over the breast is going to be involved this is going to mimic a acute mastitis which will be confusing the doctor treating physician while diagnosing this case and there is a poor prognosis and now coming towards the sex you know that female most commonly ca breast is going to occur but remember even in a male ca breast is common okay it is not that common but yes ca breast can be occurring even in male you know that in a male you have this gynecomastia that is hypertrophy of the male breast both epithelial and stromal component rarely this benign gynecomastia can get converted to malignant what malignant it is going to become a malignant carcinoma of breast why it is concerned why you are concerned about a male having a breast cancer than a female because the male breast cancers are going to be directly turning to stage 4 which is going to be attached to your chest wall which is going to be attached to your chest wall okay now is it clear okay now next we are going to go with the residents okay so this particular breast cancer is most common in the western countries because nulliparity is common there and intake of unsaturated fatty acid is less and saturated fatty acid is more okay and uh, in india if you see 1 in 120 are prone for breast cancer and in kerala 1 in 60 are more prone okay so now coming to the chief complaints so now i have completed my demographic details next i am going towards the chief complaints in chief complaints basically i am going to ask only five important complaints number 1 swelling number 2 pain number 3 ulceration number 4 discharge from the nipple and number 5 any swelling in the breast axilla or neck okay so i'll tell you a uh, six week average is for a patient to report a lump in the breast cancer so follow a general history of presenting illness of that of swelling and fever so normally swelling ku ninga enna la kepeengalo so adha ellame ninga ketrunga okay va so what all you will be asking in a swelling i'll tell you so you like uh, onset 
progression, duration, any associated factor, any discharge is there, any sinus is there, everything you are going to ask. Remember, I will tell you only the key points. Fibroadenoma and fibroadenosis will be having a long duration history. And swelling of opposite breast is also very important because in 2% of cases, CA breast occurs bilaterally. And you have this fibroadenosis or fibrocystoadenosis, which is going to be commonly occurring bilaterally. Okay, which is going to be commonly occurring bilaterally. Next, you are going to ask about the pain. Why? Pain in breast is called as nostalgia, which is commonly seen in this fibrocystoadenosis and acute mastitis. In acute mastitis, you can see this throbbing type of pain. So, you can see this throbbing type of pain. Okay, so this usually all your acute mastitis will be an infective condition. Therefore, there will be a fever. In CA breast, initially it is going to be painless, but it becomes painful. Why? Because of the development of tumor necrosis, skin ulceration and fungation, which the condition which was initially painless becomes painful. And in fibroadenosis, prior to menstruation, prior to menstruation, it will be disappearing and it will be like disappearing at the pregnancy and uh, after menopause also it is going to disappear. Okay. And also disappears after a menopause. Now coming to the periductal mastitis or duct ectasia. There also you will be having a pain. And similarly in breast abscess you will be having this throbbing type of excruciating pain. Always remember referred pain from the muscles and skeletal muscles at times radiates to your breast. Okay. So that also you should be very clear. Next one is fever. You are going to ask similarly you are going to ask about the onset duration and type of fever. High grade fever and chills and rigors like that it will be like acute mastitis or a breast abscess. CA breast not usually associated with fever but may develop. Why? Because of the tumor necrosis. Next, discharge from nipple. You are going to ask the duration. You are going to ask the type, nature, color, order, quantity. Then you are going to ask about the character. Whether it is a serous, purulent, bloody, serosanguineous, greenish or milky. All these things you are going to ask. When you consider milk, you are going to have this galactosyl, protein secreting tumor of your anterior pituitary, mammary fistula due to some uh, chronic subbarular abscess. All these things will have this milk discharge. Pus discharge will be present in the breast abscess and bloody discharge will be there in 90% ductal papilloma and 10% carcinoma. Serious discharge in the fibrocystic disease. Either it can be dark brown in color, black in color or green in color. So discharge from your surface you will be seeing in the Paget's disease. Now coming to the changes in the nipple. So changes in the nipple either it can be retracted, deviation, displacement, discoloration. So this retraction usually often seen in the congenital. Recent changes like this will be like significant to derive conclusion of carcinoma. And there can be history of alteration in the size and symmetry of your breast. History of trauma you are going to ask because trauma causes hematoma of breast or breast abscess and can cause traumatic fat necrosis. You are going to have this margarine tumor. Okay, what is this margarine tumor? I will tell you. The malignancy occurring in the scar tissues following injury, even repeated micro trauma. This can be caused. So, if you have a tight sports bra use pandra people, kwandhi, there can be a repeated micro trauma because of which there is a chance of carcinoma breast. Okay, ma? because of that, there is a chance of carcinoma breast. Very clear. Next, you are going to ask about the history of respiratory system. Why you are going to ask about the history of respiratory system? Because there can be secondaries in your lung. GIT, you are going to ask because there can be liver secondaries, skeletal symptoms, CNS symptoms. Okay, so with this, we are completing the history. Then comes the past history. So any past history of surgery of breast you are going to ask because there can be a recurrence after excision of fibroadenoma. Conservative breast surgery causes recurrent CA breast and drug therapy for fibroadenosis. Then abscess recur in a congenital retraction of your nipple. TB breast will be showing recurrence. Fibroadenosis may repeat rarely with a long gap of asymptomatic period. CA breast also can occur especially in the opposite side. Therefore you are going to ask the past history. Then you are going to ask the treatment history. Why? Because if there is any surgery, you are going to ask about the type of surgery, reconstruction, hospital stay, is there any chemo or radio, what was the dose and what was the cycle type and what was the follow up. You are going to ask all these things and you are going to ask the history of treatment for TB is present. Then you have to go for the menstrual history. You know that early menopause and late menarche predisposes to your CA breast and your cycle whether it is regular or irregular and you are going to ask about the pain during the mass. Okay, for menses. Next, you are going to ask the personal history, especially your marital history. Why? Age at marriage, 
ஏஜ் அட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சைல்ட் பர்த் நம்பர் ஆஃப் சில்ட்ரன் பிரெஸ்ட் ஃபீடிங் இது எல்லாமே அவாய்ட் ஆஸ் பிகாஸ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் இயர்ஸ் பிரெஸ்ட் ஃபெட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி இன்வர்ஸ்லி ப்ரொபோர்ஷனல் டு த ரிஸ்க் ஆஃப் சிஏ பிரெஸ்ட் சிமிலர்லி அன்மேரிட் நல்லி பேரஸ் ஆர் மோர் ஃபார் ரிஸ்க் ஆஃப் சிஏ பிரெஸ்ட் ஓகே தட் இஸ் வை அண்ட் அதர் பர்சனல் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஆஸ்க் இஸ் ஆல்கோஹால் ஸ்மோக்கிங் ஓசிபி யூசேஜ் ஸ்லீப் பேட்டர்ன் அண்ட் டயட் பேட்டர்ன் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு செக் நெக்ஸ்ட் கம்ஸ் அ ஃபேமிலி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி family is still you are going to see whether there is any brca1 2 gene mutation okay so this is going to be predisposing to a ca breast as 10% of ca breast cases have family predisposition with this i am completing the history you would have seen within 10 to 12 11 minutes you have completed the entire history taking next 15 minutes just 15 minutes we are going to take the complete the general examination and the local examination so general examination ellathukku maadhiri or pattern follow panikonga next என்னோட இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் வந்து லோக்கல் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் இன்ஸ்பெக்ஷன் நார்மல் பிரெஸ்ட் ஆகுதுன்னா ஓகே இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி மிக்சர் ஆஃப் நாடுலார் பேட்டர்ன் கிரானுலார் பேட்டர்ன் லாபிலார் பேட்டர்ன் அட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைம்ஸ் ஆஃப் த மென்ஸ்ட்ரல் சைக்கிள் ஸோ நவ் யூ கோயிங் டு ஹவ் யூ கோயிங் டு மேக் த பேஷன்ட் பொசிஷன் சிட்டிங் போஸ்டரில் வைக்கலாம் பை ரைசிங் த ஆர்ம்ஸ் பை சைட் ஆர் வித் ஆர்ம்ஸ் ரைஸ்டு அபவ் அ ரெட் ஆர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த இப் ப்ரெஸ்ஸிங் அண்ட் ரிலாக்ஸிங் ஆர் பெண்டிங் ஃபார்வர்ட் பொசிஷன் so this is a rough diagram of breast what you are going to see is you are going to inspect and compare both the breast you are going to check for any scar clear okay then you are going to see the position any displacement iruka size and shape paakrenga adukapra puckering and dimpling what is this this is your pectoralis major okay this is going to be your pectoralis minor this is going to be your pectoralis major this is your chest wall and this is your lobules cooper ligament skin of the breast okay va wow. so this cooper ligament connects the skin to the fascia if there is involution of your cooper ligament due to the involvement of duct and lobules it is going to pull the skin backward and that is going to cause dimpling and puckering okay va wow. in a serous carcinoma there is a condition called a serous carcinoma where more amount of fibrous tissues are produced this causes a small areola and nipple so this is going to drawn from its normal position and because of it what happens your areola and nipple is going to be it is going to be drawn towards the growth so how to look lift the breast gently upward and you can actually identify this uh, lesion next you are going to see the skin over the breast first check for the color and texture okay so red color edematous ah irundaduna acute mastitis also seen in the acute lactational carcinoma next you are going to go for the any presence of engorged vein large soft fibroadenoma it is going to be cystosarcoma phylloids it is going to be cystosarcoma phylloids then acute lactational mastitis with a huge breast abscess can in that you can see this engorged vein next to pudy orange appearance that is in ca breast there is going to be blockage of subcuticular lymphatics with edema of skin because of this blockage this is going to cause this is going to cause deepening of the mouth of sweat gland and air follicles this is going to lead to pudy orange appearance this is a very very important finding in a ca breast you can also see nodules ulceration fungation so what is this fungation fungation is a late feature so remember your fungation is going to be your late feature of a ca breast advanced ca breast why due to the infiltration of skin by growth due to the infiltration of skin by growth in a large soft fibroadenoma or in a growing sarcoma what happens is there is going to be a skin becomes atrophied and at the site of maximum pressure over the huge swelling this causes a growth to fungate out whether there is a skin infiltration no how to identify you can pass a probe underneath the skin margin in a case of ca fungation you cannot pass the probe okay now coming to the movement of breast so you are going to check this in the three positions bending forward raise the arm and so over the waist in carcinoma your lump is going to be fixed to the underlying chest okay your lump is going to be fixed to the underlying chest and the puckering becomes obvious and the breast will not fall forward next you are going to see is a nipple examination so first you are going to whether you are going to check whether it is symmetrical whether it is going to be in position ca breast la nipple of affected side drawn towards the lump fibro adenoma it is going to be drawn away from the lump romba romba important ena unga exam la vekka poradhu rendu type of case bidayna fibro adenoma malignant na ca breast appa fibro adenoma it is going to be drawn away from the lump ca breast la it is going to be towards the lump okay now coming to the retraction recent onset okay due to infiltration of lactiferous duct by carcinoma 
So due to the extension of growth along the lactiferous duct and subsequent fibrosis, you are going to have this retraction. Circumferential sign is called CA, largo, slit like nipple which will be present in the periductal mastitis. Okay, and in Pagets, if you see, ulcerative dermatitic changes will be present in the subbarular area. So there is going to be erosion, fungation of nipple which will be causing a red flat ulcer. Okay, now coming to the surface, check for any fissures or cracks. Breastfeeding mastitis, okay, in breastfeeding mothers, you can see these fissures. And number very important. You know, accessory nipple can occur along the milk ridge and the milk can be discharged from them during lactation. Also check for any discharges. Then go for the areola examination or inspection. So first, normal areola every corrugated small nodules. So this is a, okay, Montegri nodules and it will be larger. Okay, so Montegri nodules, it will be larger in the, larger and larger are the you call it as Montegri tubercles, Montegri tubercles. Now coming to the color, so it will be pink in young girls, darker in adults, brownish in pregnant and lactation, red in eczema and early stages of pagets. Size, it will be increased in fibroadenoma, it will be decreased in the serous carcinoma. And a surface on the path, ulceration of nipple will be present in the CA and pagets. But CA and pagets are unilateral. So pagets are unilateral without vesicles, odd lump often with destruction of nipple. Eczema is not bilateral or without any nodules. It is always associated with itching and with odd vesicles. Retention cyst of Montag Meringa, it is similar to the, the sebaceous cyst. Now, in this point, I wanted to tell you about this cancer in cruciate. It is even two mark like it. What is this? Extensive involvement of skin over the swelling or lump of the breast and chest wall with multiple nodules and ulceration by carcinoma. So, it is going to be working like a armor coat. That is in cruciate. It will be red and edematous skin, especially in acute mastitis. Then you have this Maunder's disease, again to mark. Superficial thrombophilipitis of veins over the chest wall and breast will be causing this Maunder's disease. Most common in a female, there will be a painful tender cord-like lesion which on raising the arm above the shoulder, you can see the puckering of skin adjacent to the dilated vein. This is a very self-limiting disease. Now, you ought to know how this will be in a benign and malignant. Benign la smooth surface, regular margin. Malignant la rough surface and irregular margin. Next, going for the axilla and supraclavicular fossa. Check for the lymph node swellings. Romba important. Arm and thorax. La, you are going to see a eh, arm and thorax. So from distally you will be having this brawny edema. Edema to arm. There is a lymphatic obstruction to the axillary nodules. Which by the malignant cells spreading from the CA breast. Which will be occurring from distal to proximal. Therefore it, this brawny's edema will be more common in the distal. Okay. In distal area than the proximal. The, what happens? There is a venous obstruction. So because of the venous obstruction what happens the infiltration often due to compression of your axillary vein by nodal metastasis therefore there is going to be venous obstruction next you are going to move towards the palpation so inspection one to palpation so now palpation la normal your nipple will be firm and you will be having a lobulated and nodularity will be fine how you are going to do this with the thumb and your finger and then all quadrants are palpated with areola nipple and axillary tail or spins First, local temperature and tenderness. Temperature only will be increased in a mastitis and vascular tumors like medullary carcinoma and sarcoma. It will be tender in inflammatory condition. Then you are going to go for the situation. Usually, CA breast will be occurring in the outer and upper quadrant. Okay. So, that is fibroadenoma will be occurring in the lower half. Number. CA breast, la majority, it will be solitary. That is fibroadenosis. Like it will be multiple. Even opposite breast can be affected. Next, you are going to see the size. So, you are going to measure it with the tape or caliper. Fibroadenoma, it will be more than 5 cm, you call it as a giant fibroma. Yeah, fibroadenoma. Why you are going to measure it? Because it is very important to stage the cancer. Shape parana, globular shape now fibroadenoma, and even on the car your carcinoma. Then comes your margin. Well defined regular margin will be present in the fibroadenoma, breast abscess, and cyst. In fibroadenoma, your margins will be tending to slip off. Then you are going to have this well-defined irregular carcinoma which will be seen in carcinoma and ill-defined in the fibroadenosis. Next, consistency. Firm consistency again in fibroadenoma, stony yard in the carcinoma, rubbery in your fibroadenosis and soft and hard variable in sarcoma. Cystic swelling is very rare and if occurred, you have to go for the transillumination and fluctuation. Now, fluctuation. So, how do you do this fluctuation test? By the Victor Riddle method. So, hands of the examiner are placed on the patient's shoulder. You are going to hold your swelling in one hand and the index finger of the other hand. So what you are going to do is swelling summit you are going to press. 
and fluid displacement can be seen on the yielding finger. So cystic swelling and localized abscess light will be positive. Blood good cyst abdina it's a fibroadenosis of breast. Then comes a transillumination test. It is checked for clear fluid in the cyst. You are going to place the torch on the undersurface of the tissue and you are going to see the visibility over the surface in dark room. Abs breast abscess, hematoma, fibroadenoma, carcinoma. It is not transillumination. Cystic hygroma is going to be transillumination in nature. Next, you are going to see the flexibility. So, you are going to hold the breast tissue in one hand and move the lump over the other hand. See a breast, it will be fixed to the breast tissue. It moves with the breast in both directions unless fixed to deeper structure. Okay, wow. are they fibroadenoma, right? it is going to be freely mobile in all directions. So, another the rat or mouse in breast appearance. So then, you have the traumatic fat necrosis where there is going to be fixation to the tissue firmly. Now, I will tell you. Tethering fixation. Tethering na your lump is moved without moving overlying the skin. Okay. Without moving overlying skin. So moving the lump side to side due to the inward puckering of skin following involvement of elastic Cooper ligament of Ashley, which becomes inelastic. So in other there is a dumpling of the skin occurs. It is fixation. Na, your lump cannot be moved at all without moving the skin in fixation. Fix it every test panning gliding test, pinching test, and PUD orange. When the tumor lies beneath your nipple, it is fixed to it as main mammary duct travels through tumor tissue. Tumor beneath areola may or may not be fixed. In the advanced CA breast, it gets infiltrated till your chest wall, till it gets rigid feeling. So this is your cancer in crucial. Then comes the fixity to major. So hands on the waist, lump is moved along the direction of muscles and perpendicular. Ask the patient to tighten the grip over the waist to contract the pectoralis major muscle which can be confirmed by taut at the anterior axillary fold. Now again lump is moved along uh, and perpendicular. If you are going to see the restriction of mobility, your lump is adhered to the pectoralis major. Therefore, it is going to be a T3 tumor. So or just examination learning a stage panamodio, that is important. Then comes the swelling at the outer and lower quadrant. Fixation can occur in the serratus anterior. Sometimes there is a fixity to the chest wall. So there is going to complete absence of mobility. Your mass does not fall forward and mass is not raised up on arm raise and it is fixed with underlying ribs. Okay. Your intercostal muscles and your intercostal space. Okay. Then comes the palpation of nipple. Tenderness, thickening, hardness and mobility is going to be observed. You are going to confirm the retraction. Now the base of the nipple is gently pressed to avert. Everted on pressing the base is congenital and benign cause. If you cannot avert that is going to be a carcinoma. Then tumors beneath your nipple will be fixed to the pin nipple. Palpate the lump and check for any discharge. Color and content of the discharge also is checked. Now what are the seven D's you are going to remember in a nipple changes? Destruction, depression, discoloration, displacement, deviation, discharge and duplication. These are the seven D which you are going to remember. Ulcer examination, epio ulcer examination, you can do ulcer examination. Then lymph node examination, this is very important. Axillary lymph node, there are 5 set of lymph nodes. Okay, wow. So, anterior axillary lymph node is going to drain into the subpectoral. Posterior axillary lymph node will be draining to subcapsula. And apical will be drained to infraclavicular, medial to the and central and lateral to the humeral. Okay, wow. so what are the levels of axillary node? There are three levels. Level 1 is below and lateral to your pectoralis minor. Level 2 is behind the pectoralis minor. And level 3 is above and medial to the pectoralis minor. Level 1 is na no? anterior, posterior and lateral. Moon Central is level 2 la no? apical is level 3 la no? Next is your axillary tail or spins. So what it is? It is an extension of the upper outer quadrant of breast along the forum and langer deep to deeper fascia. So this is going to be present in the opening in the deep fascia. What is this forum and langer? Which is over the outer aspect of the breast. Which is going to allow the part of the breast tissues to extend under the deep fascia. Otherwise rest all in the subcuticular plane. Axillary tail is located in the outer border of pectoralis major muscle. Remember. Okay. Wow. So next you are going to go for the CAVS exam, CNS exam, RS exam, abdomen exam. What are the causes of heart swelling? CA breast, antibioma. TFN, okay, any uh, fibro fatty, uh, your fibro adenoma or other things is going to be the cause. Cystic swelling, engalavaruna, blood good of cyst, breast abscess, hyatid cyst, galactosyl and hematoma. So, what are going to be the differential diagnosis for your breast lump? So, we are moving on, finally, we are completed all the history taking examination. I have told in between itself the important examination point. Subsequently, when we are discussing a case, 
in the subsequent lecture maybe from dr sujit kumar sir he will be explaining you again in detail about everything what is the differential diagnosis of a breast lump ca breast fibroadenoma so is fibrocystadenosis mastitis then there can be a breast cyst galactosid manders disease so all these things are going to be there even your uh, okay breast necrosis okay wow. so that is going to also cause a uh, breast lump okay so what is going to be the investigation first you go for a mammography it is a plain x-ray of soft tissue of breast using a low voltage and high amperage x-ray so dose was the 0.1 centigrad so rendu film edupenga one cranio caudal and one medio lateral indication vandu pathina any 40 years ku mela irukku kudiya woman obese woman ku you will be taking a screening test டயக்னோஸ்டிக் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் பாருங்கள் ஸோ ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா யூ கேன் கோ ஃபார் ஈவன் அல்ட்ரா சவுண்ட் அண்ட் அதர் திங் ஸோ வென் அவர் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் சர்ஜரிஸ் ஆர் பிளான் வென்னா யூ வாண்ட் டு ரூல் அவுட் த ஸ்ப்ரெட் டு ஆப்போசிட் சைட் வென் அவர் நா யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ அ பயோப்சி வென் அவர் யூ வாண்ட் டு ஹவ் அ எவாலுவேஷன் அண்ட் ஃபாலோ அப் ஆஃப் அ பினைங் பிரஸ் டிசீஸ் ஓகே ஃபாலோ அப் ஆஃப்டர் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் சர்ஜரி மேஸ்டாலஜியாஸ் வாட் ஆர் த காமன் திங் விச் யூ கோயிண்ட் டு ஃபைண்ட் இன் த இன் அ மேமோகிராஃபி ஸோ திஸ் கொஸ்டின் பீப்புள் வில் பி ஆஸ்கிங் யூ இன்னா வைவா ஓகே ஸோ மை ஃபைவாவில் கேட்குறப்ப நீங்கள் என்னெல்லாம் பார்ப்பீங்கன்னா ஒன்று யோ கோயிண்ட் சி த மார்ஜின் ஓகே யோ கோயிண்ட் சி மைக்ரோ கேல்சிஃபிகேஷன் யோ கோயிண்ட் சி த கான்டர் சேஞ்சஸ் யோ கோயிண்ட் சி த ஏசிமெட்ரிக்கல் யோ கோயிண்ட் சி டிஸ்டாஷன் ஸ்பிகுலேஷன் யோ கோயிண்ட் சி த சேஞ்சஸ் இந்த ஸ்கின் அண்ட் நிபிள் மார்ஜின்ஸ் என்ன பார்ப்பீங்கன்னா சர்க்கம்ஸ்கிரைப்டு இன் பினாங்லீஷன் இல் டிஃபைன் இன் அ சிஏ பிரஸ்ட் மைக்ரோ கேல்சிஃபிகேஷன் சிக்னிஃபை மேலிக்னன்சி இரெகுலர் சாஃப்ட் இஷ்யூ ஷேடோ இஸ் ஆல்சோ கோயிண்ட் சிக்னிஃபை மேலிக்னன்சி அண்ட் லாபிலேட்டட் மாஸ் இஸ் கோயிண்ட் பி சஜஸ்டிங் கார்சினோமா தென் யூ ஆர் டு சி த சைஸ் அண்ட் லொகேஷன் What are the features of suggesting malignancy? The first point is linear branching, stipulated microcalcification. Number two, architectural distortion. Number three, soft tissue shadow with irregular margin. Number four, increase in density. Number five, skin thickening. Number six, loss of symmetry. And number seven, speculations. So, by rats 0 to 6. This is all you can see. But who knows the by rats? 0 is need additional image. 1 is negative. 2 is benign, but you have to repeat after one year. 3 na probably benign repeat of the 6 months konja risk adhigama irukku 4 na you got a suspect for ca biopsy eduthu paakanum 5 na highly suspecting of ca 6 na known carcinoma then you adikapra vandhadhu vandhu zero mammography what is zero mammography except that the photoconductor which is used to produce the final image on selenium paper okay va anga photoconductor use pannala inga photoconductor use pandreenga advantage edge will be enhanced disadvantage na i radiation dose has to be used i radiation dose has to be used is working clear now coming to the usg breast oda difference benign la you going to have solid cystic lesion malignant you going to have calcification benign la smooth round well defined margins irukum inga irregular margin irukum malignant inge vandha pathina you going to have a weak internal echoes which is compressible wider than taller and hyper echoic inge adha hypo echoic a irukum which is taller than wider anga wider than taller inge taller than wider inge non compressible irregular uh, past shadow irregular internal echoes and then there will be increased vascularity where you prefer you prefer in a pregnancy early lactation and individual less than 35 why because it is easily available and there is no radiation okay va wow. there is no radiation in the okay va wow. and uh, disadvantage na less than 1 cm may not be identified fnac not preferred usually we do a core needle biopsy ye na dcis cannot be confirmed by fnac receptor study cannot be done by fnac and it is difficult to differentiate in situ and involved uh, invasive breast cancer what are the advantage of fnac ana fnac is less painful than your needle biopsy it is going to be cheaper and malignant deposit will occur along the fnac track How do you grade your FNAC? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 வந்து no epithelial cell. 1 வந்து scanty cell. 2 benign. 3 atypical. 4 suspicious cells. And 5 is a malignant cell. Next is very important estrogen receptor study. Very, very important. This is the NEAT PG 2023. Low question is one. Which has a better prognosis? ER positive or ER negative? Always remember estrogen sensitive receptors are cytosolic glycoprotein which are present in breast and tumor tissue. They are important prognosis because if value is more than 10 units, ER is going to be positive which is common in the postmenopausal woman and it is going to carry a good prognosis. HORT that is you are uh, you're going to do this estrogen and receptor therapy hormonal replacement therapy right so that is beneficial in the er positive whereas it is negative a not beneficial in a er negative so that your treatment response will be good in a er positive and bad in a er negative then you also can do a progesterone receptor study which is going to be helpful in management and surgery and therapy and your prognosis then you have the sentinel node biopsy again a two mark question 
first axillary node draining the breast is designated as a sentinel lymph node. So sentinel lymph node is the first node involved by a tumor cells and presence of absence of its histological involvement when accessed can be helpful to detect can be helpful in predictive value idea about the further spread of tumor to the other nodes. If sentinel lymph node biopsy is less than 3% involvement axillary nodal dissection can be avoided. It is done in all cases of your early breast cancer T1, T2 without clinically palpable node. It is not done in clinically palpable lymph node because there is a distortion of lymphatic flow due to the tumor. It is not done in a multifocal and multicentric tumor as there is an involvement of many trunks at different places of your breast. Therefore, there can be a chances of false negative. So, what is the dye you are going to use in the node biopsy? Pattern blue, isosulfan vital blue dye, 2.5 to 7.5 ml or you can also use or you can also use this MTC radio isotope. Okay, 99 MTC radio isotope which is going to be lab labeled albumin will be there. You are going to give this in the peritumor area. Marker will pass through the sentinel node which can be visualized as blue staining or with handheld gamma camera and it is biopsied with a small incision made directly over the node. So early breast cancer can be detected easily and contraindication is T3, T4 tumor with no nodes clinically you can't do and inflammatory carcinoma of breast never try and palpable axillary nodes in the try panadinya prior axillary or breast surgery after pre-operative chemotherapy and in pregnancy. So now coming to the MRI breast, what are the indications to distinguish your scar from your recurrence? Gold standard for imaging the breast of woman with implant, evaluating axilla and both primary and the breast uh, CA and recurrence and better in the dense breast. Lesion is going to undred, undeterminate by ultrasound mammography is going to be accessed by MRI and useful in screening females with a high risk groups and young women and in pregnancy. What is the disadvantage? It is costly number one and non-availability number two, non-sensitive for pre-malignant lesions. Okay, so just I have just given the diagrammatic representation of lymphatic drainage of breast. So with this, I am actually completing this part. Okay, this part is not aimed to give you the complete viva questions. But this part is aimed to give you how to take a history and how to examination finding to be written in a case of a lump over the breast and how to differentiate a benign and a malignant, how to differentiate fibroadenoma from the malignant CA breast. Okay, clear. I will try maximum to put a case discussion on the breast in the upcoming uh, days. Okay, and I wish you all all the best for your clinical exams. Okay, thank you.